Hey everybody, Poe here, and with E3 happening just last week, I decided to make a Where Is E3 special for y'all. Ah! Alright, so before we begin, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, uh, check me out on Twitter and Facebook with the links provided in the description below. Also, as always, links to anything that I reference will be in the description as well. Alright, so the first thing I'd like to do in my Where is E3 special is go through the games that were in previous Where is videos but have gone without updates. Then I'm going to actually go ahead and update you on previous Where is videos. I will also talk about videos that I have in the polls. And then lastly, I'll talk about a game in a series that I really like that wasn't seen last year but we have one this year. Uh, if y'all want to try to guess what that is, go ahead and place that down in the comments and see if you're right at the end of the video. All right, so jumping into it, let's uh, let's see those Where Is videos that have gone without updates. Here they are. Enough of that. So now I'm going to talk about the games that have had updates since E3. The first game I'm going to talk about is The Crew 2. In my last Warriors video about The Crew 2, uh, I had no information on it. But at E3, it was announced and it does have a release date set for early 2018. I am going to be providing a link to Ubisoft's website down in the description because you can sign up for a beta access to The Crew 2. So be sure to check that out. So the next game I'm going to be updating is Half-Life 3. In my previous Whereas I talked about Half-Life 3 and how it possibly could be in development, uh, but of course we never know with Valve. Uh, and this news actually came right before E3 and it's a little bit upsetting, but it's that writer Jay Pinkerton announced that he's leaving Valve. Um, Jay Pinkerton is known for writing Half-Life 2 and also Portal 2. So without him, the future of Half-Life 3 is really uncertain. So the last game that I'm going to update is Dead Island 2. And although Dead Island 2 wasn't mentioned at E3, a month prior to E3 there was some information uh, released on Dead Island 2. And that is that Dead Island 2 is still in the works, and that Deep Silver is excited by the progress that their team is making on it. So there's some hope for Dead Island 2, so let's look forward to that. So the next thing we're going to talk about are the games that were in my polls. And the first game that I'd like to talk about is Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, when I was younger, Kingdom Hearts were some of the, my favorite games, so I'm really excited about Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, you see that in the, in the new trailers and the new stuff they've released, you see some of the old villains returning. You see a lot of familiar Disney characters, um, and it, it, the game looks beautiful. I'm really excited for it. Can't wait for it to come out. Unfortunately, they haven't announced a release date, um, but you know they did show some more stuff at E3, so that means that it is being worked on. Um, and on this, the article that I uh, read from IGN, uh, they should be getting some more information on the game in July. So that's just around the corner. So we'll, uh, I'll provide a link to the, in the description below, and we'll uh, keep you posted on it. So the next game for my polls that I'm going to discuss is the game Agent. Now Agent was a game for the PlayStation 3 that Rockstar announced. Uh, it's going to be uh, similar to their other games. Um, but this game is pretty much dead. I, I did find an article uh, about Rockstar Games, and they discussed how the game Agent has, has gone without any news for, for years and years, and that the game's um, trademark has been renewed by Rockstar. But other than that, there's been no news. So it's a game that I doubt we'll see, and if we do see it, it'll be in a long, long time. So the next game from my polls that I'd like to cover is Crackdown 3. Now, Crackdown 3 did receive a release date of November 7th, 2017, um, and this game looks amazing. Very vibrant, very colorful world, but that doesn't mean it's all hunky-dory, you know. 
things are very you know it seems very gritty uh, and you can just go in and you can just destroy pretty much whatever you want um i love how games are giving people freedom and this is definitely one that i'm looking forward to um and i probably will be checking out in the near future when it is released all right so before i start talking about the game that i'm really looking forward to that was shown at e3 i want to talk about one more game that was on the polls list and that's beyond good and evil 2. so beyond good and evil 2 looks amazing it's you know a futuristic sci-fi game um and it it looks like it's in a very gritty lived-in world um it, it just looks looks beautiful the, the visuals in it and you know from what i was seeing you have these big ships and you can you know you have a, a vast world to explore universe to explore it looks good i'm really excited for it i'm definitely going to be checking that out when it comes out all right so let's see who got it right the game that I'm really looking forward to that did not come out last year that is coming out this year is, of course, Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, and the reason I'm including it in my where is is because it, there was no Assassin's Creed game released last year, and they have been a yearly release. Um, now, that being said, I am really excited and happy that they did take a year break because this next Assassin's Creed just looks phenomenal. Um it's uh it's uh, as the name says it's assassin's creed origins it's you know set in the start of the assassin's creed um brotherhood you know how they get set up um but one of the coolest things and i'll show a graphic for um for y'all is uh as you can see in this screen capture that i took um the gear in the game doesn't look like uh, previous Assassin's Creed. In the previous Assassin's Creed, the gear is just like, you know, little little dots or little bars showing you how strong or agile or fast or, or whatnot a weapon is. In this one, it seems like it, you've got an actual RPG-style gear system. Uh, your weapons level up. Um, or not your weapons level up, but your weapons, they, you know, have the different stats, different abilities, uh, different damages. And, um, you know, that's really exciting. I'm glad that they're going in the direction of more of an RPG. Uh, and from what I was uh, reading and seeing online is that also with the new Assassin's Creed, um, certain enemies you won't be able to just go up with your hidden blade and stab them unless you have a higher level hidden blade. So in this one, leveling up is very crucial. Um, so the mechanics of it, you know, just seem to be improved. The combat doesn't seem to be as much of a, you know, just press these buttons and you'll block an attack. You know, you have a shield now and you have, you know, weapons that seem to have more of a dynamic to them where it's not just to click a button, but you have to kind of plan your attacks. Um, I heard someone, I, I forget who, compare it to something like uh, Dark Souls. Now, I don't think it's on the same level as a Souls game in terms of combat, but it does seem like it is moving a little bit more in that direction, and that's great. Um, and besides the, the the combat and the gameplay, the world looks the game world looks amazing. Uh, there's a lot of water in it because of the Nile and whatnot because it is set in Egypt. I'm hoping there is some sailing aspects to it, just like there was in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, because that was one of my favorite things. I really can't wait for this game to come out, um, and I'm I'm excited. All right, so I know some of you will not agree with me about Assassin's Creed Origins, but that is the game that really caught my attention from E3. It's the game that I'm really looking forward to. Anyways, uh, share down below in the comments uh, a game that you saw at E3 that you're really looking forward to or that you're really excited to play. Um, as well as, you know, share down in the comments an idea for a Where Is video. I do love making these Where Is videos. They do take me a bit more time. Um, but it's always good to get feedback and ideas for new videos from my viewers. As you know, YouTube is a hobby for me. It's not a, a career. So, you know, give me some time in between videos. I'll try to make them more often. I'm sorry I haven't been. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check out some of my other videos. 